Hey everyone, how's it going? JD Strategic here. I hope everyone's doing great today. Today's video, I'm gonna tell you guys my exact percentage returns with my crypto investments. I think it's one thing to talk about crypto when prices are going up on a daily basis. Prices are out of this world, which is what we've seen kind of over the last year or two. Crypto prices have just been pretty crazy. And now we're starting to see prices crash. For the most part, they're going down at a pretty significant rate. And everyone's kind of starting to talk about it. The people that are like anti-crypto, um, they, they think this is pretty funny. They're just like, I hope you guys took your money out of Bitcoin. Um, they're gonna lose all their money. So I would just want to make a video where I'm gonna talk about my exact percentage returns and just a little bit about, cause there is this just constant theme of the psychology of the stock market. So it's really easy to talk about crypto when prices are going up. Um, when Bitcoin prices are at 60K, when Ethereum prices are at 4K, there's a line at the wall for people to buy, 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 everyone wants it. But now that prices, Bitcoin just dropped below 20K, Ethereum actually dropped below 1K, and people are scared to invest their money. So it really is just a constant psychology. Um, so I think that's pretty interesting. It's really just like stocks, but crypto is just a much more significant basis where prices can drop way more significantly and they can also rise way more significantly so it's just a matter of kind of picking and choosing so i find that pretty interesting so i'm going to tell you guys my exact percentage returns in a bit um, but i just found the statistics pretty interesting as of, and this is from a month ago so it's definitely a lot lower now but 40 percent of bitcoin investors were underwater as of may and prices have dropped way more significantly since then. So my guess would be that number is maybe closer to 75%, if not greater. Um, so a significant of people are underwater now. So this is really where the psychology steps in um, and see how people react when they're losing money rather than gaining money. Cause it's easy to want to invest your money when you see that money constantly going up. But when your portfolio is down, especially a significant amount, it's interesting to see how people react in that scenario. But overall, it's really important to not overreact because when you overreact in the short term, that really is when you start to put yourself in a financial hardship position. So it really does go back to crafting this long term investment strategy so that when you sit down and you have this long term investment strategy, when the short term hits like right now and prices are going down in stocks and crypto, you're not selling these assets um, because you already had that long term plan. You're investing in businesses and companies that you're confident in. You're investing in just the US market, which you're confident in. So you're not investing in stuff that you're not comfortable with. So you feel, so when the short term happens, you honestly see this as a good opportunity to just buy more because you have that long-term investment plan. So that's pretty interesting. And now that we're seeing crypto prices drop, this isn't something that's that unusual. Back in 2018, Bitcoin was at a career high of 20,000, which was unheard of then. And then just in 2018, it dropped all the way down to 3,000. And it's weird because once it hit that 8,000 mark, people just stopped talking about it. And then it kept going down, it kept going down. And then just last year, we saw Bitcoin go all the way up to 60,000. So the prices fluctuate like crazy. It's really just a matter of where do you see the future of crypto? Where do you see the future? And um, how confident are you in the crypto market? Because obviously, so many of them are gonna fail, just like the dot-com era. Like, there's gonna be so many that fail. So many people are gonna lose crazy amounts of money. So it, you do have to be careful where you're putting your money, for sure. Um, but now I'm gonna tell you my exact percentage returns with my crypto investments, and that's negative 54%. So this is really just the psychology of the stock market. I'm down 54%. Most people would be selling their assets like crazy, but I see this as a good buying opportunity. I'm not freaking out. I have that long-term investment plan. And I'll tell you why I'm so bullish on crypto. And it starts with one adoption. Just in 2021, there was just a 4% worldwide usage rate of crypto. I see that going up tremendously just over the next couple of years. And when I look at 10 years out, I think this number is gonna be tremendously high. And it's not a matter of like, um, people in America really adopting it as well. Like we have banks that we can rely on despite the 08-09 crisis. Um, 
there have been more reliable mortgages. They're not lending those crazy amounts. So we have like a good system in place in the US, but in other like countries where they don't have access to generating wealth, it does make a lot more sense for people like that to adopt crypto. So this 4% number, I see that only going up over time. And number two is utility. Bitcoin has a utility where it's person to person transaction. You don't need that middleman. And that utility alone goes a long way. Like there's always going to be some sort of value for it. People are always going to be using it. So that alone, in my opinion, it would never hit zero. It can definitely go down to, who knows, like a hundred dollars. But overall, I had that long-term vision. So I'm not too worried about the short term. And three is just this constant theme of the volatility. Yes, it's volatile, but overall it just keeps going up. So it's just like, how are you reacting in that short term? Um, just in the last 17 hours, big Ethereum's up 15%. So if you react in that short term and you sell your assets, you're going to miss those big gains. So if you have that long-term vision, you have to stick with that vision. Um, so if we, this just really goes back to adoption, utility, volatility. I think these are my three reasons why I'm so bullish on crypto, despite my portfolio being down 54% right now. I'm not overreacting, I'm not selling my assets. And this is because I'm confident on the future of crypto. And I'm not investing in all these meme coins and stuff. I'm investing in ones that I'm confident in, confident in ones that actually have utility, ones that have value. So that's my reasoning behind it. Um, I thought this video would be really fun to make, just talking about I'm getting destroyed in the crypto market, but I have a smile on my face. I'm not worried, I have that long-term view. So. This just goes back to the importance of sitting down, just cracking that plan, and you just don't have to worry about it again. You see the short term as a good buying opportunity. So thank you everyone for tuning in. Um, I hope you learned something today. Bye.